Okay. So let's start the practical guys from here. Uh, I hope you can see my screen and hear me well. Yes, we yes. can. Okay. So once you have the docket and everything, emails, documents, low level diagram, high level diagram, tickets, you're starting, you have created the migration project. Either you have created or you have been asked to work on an existing migration project, which is already there. Okay. So you'll click on discover. We here here we are learning only Azure migrate tool and Azure uh, assessment tool. Okay, so first we are dealing with Azure assessment tool. You click on discover. Then you select where your machines are coming from. Are they coming from on prem, which are hosted on VMware vSphere? I I explain it right. What is VMware vSphere here? And this we have discussed in detail in our first and second session. Okay, so whether they are coming from uh, VMware vSphere or are they coming from Hyper-V or are those physical machines or from other cloud like AWS, GCP, Zen, it could be an etc. So all other category will fall here. Is this clear? This option? Yes. So uh, for here, let's take Hyper-V. We will be practicing on Hyper-V. The other option is they can give you a file also. They do not want you to connect to their machine and take data so they can give you an excel file also that this is the excel file and this much of data i have what what that excel file will have let me show it to you this is dummy data but when client sends that excel file it will have the complete data of their machine and what kind of data you'll have to share this template to them and then they will mention their server names here. Okay. Maybe 1000 or 100 or 200, whatever server names they want to mention. The IP address of those servers. How many cores are being used on those servers? CPU core. The RAM of that server. Operating system of that server. OS version. OS architecture. Okay. See, this is the information they will have to give. So the mandatory information, which has a star here. Server name course memory and operating system this is my mandatory information rest if they can give it's okay if they can't that's fine is it clear so there are two ways but you will always stick to the first way you can you will say that we discovered and we uh, as we did the assessment using appliance now what is appliance i will explain it to you but there is an option if some interviewer is asking you no client is very adamant and he or client he or she doesn't want to give any access to you on their uh, uh, on-premises machines so will you be able to complete our project you can say yes there is an option to import it using csv file we can ask client to give us data in csv format okay. so i have selected that uh, where are we getting the servers from we are getting our servers from hyper v or maybe vSphere we can select whichever you like or whichever you have the information from okay so the moment you say hyper v what options do you have for the assessment now one option is you can generate a vhd file for migrate appliance now what is a migrate appliance migrate appliance is nothing but let let me open hyper v you will understand it better this is the Hyper-V I have my, on, on my local machine. Okay. And if you see on my local machine, I am running a virtual machine here, Windows 2K12. Okay. Now, if I'm planning to move this machine, now let's say instead of this one and under this Hyper-V, I have 100 virtual machines here. Okay. And I'm planning to move these 100 machines. So what I will have to do is on the Azure portal, I will have to come here create a Azure assessment uh, project uh, this one select here uh, where is it coming from in my case it is Hyper-V and you can download this VHD which is of 12 GB or maybe this zip file which, which is of 112 MB now what to do with this file so when you say VHD what is a VHD VHD is a virtual hard disk it is nothing but your operating systems disk so if i download this here what i will have to do 
it's a simple task. I will have to go to my Hyper-V here. I'll have to create a new machine. And not everyone will be done by you guys, okay? The portal task you are doing. What will you do? You will copy this 12 GB file or this 120 MB zip file. You will copy it. You will paste it somewhere on the network file and then you will create another task in your service request or in your incident or or maybe you're sending email. I mean, whatever format you guys are following to get work and complete work or as your board or whichever format, Jira, service now, whichever you're using. So once this is done, you will download this file, keep it in this one, uh, in, in a network file, and then you will send an email to the team because this cannot be done by you. Being a cloud admin, you will not have access on their Hyper-V. You are not the Hyper-V admin. You are not their on-prem admin. So you can't do this. You will keep this file and you will tell them that could you please using this file, deploy a virtual machine in your Hyper-V. So this is what they will do. They will click next. This is the migrate appliance that so they can give a name like this. So ignore the spelling. Okay. And whatever they have to do, they know how to deal with this. You don't have to teach them. Okay. And here, either they can create a new virtual hard disk, but in your case, you're already giving them a virtual hard disk. So they can select this and they will go to their uh, network location, wherever it is, wherever you have kept this VHD of 12 GB. And then they will click next, 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 next. They will do that. And ultimately, what will they ha have? Ultimately, let me just show it to you. I'm just creating a dummy machine. I'm not going to turn it on. Hence, I'm giving a uh, unrealistic uh, configuration. So you see, here we have another machine. Now let's say I had 100 machines here. This is my 101 machine. Okay, now I just have to turn on this machine. That's all. You guys being a cloud admin, you guys have to download this, keep it in network share. Uh, their on-premises engineer system admin, they will have to install it. Because this is Hyper-V, you have to do this. If it was vSphere, you will have to install vSphere. See, it doesn't make any changes. Whatever changes at backend, you don't have to do that. Is it clear, guys? Yes. Okay. Now, this appliance, can it be set on anything wherever they want? No, there is a prerequisite to set this appliance. You can share this prerequisite with them also. Prerequisite like that it should have, it, it should have at least Windows Server 2016, 32 GB of RAM, 8 virtual CPUs, 80 GB of disk. These are the prerequisite. Which machine we are talking about? Appliance machine, this machine. So this machine should have at least it, it na 80 GB ka disk. It, it should have minimum server 2016. It should have 32 GB of RAM and 8, G, 8 virtual CPUs. This information you will have to share with the client or with, with their system admin team. Is it clear? Hussein, are you getting it, Sistri? Are you getting it? Any confusion? No, it's clear. Okay. So in this case, we are not doing that. We, we don't even, I don't even have total 32 GB RAM on my uh, laptop. So how will I give uh, 32 GB to virtual machine? Okay. So we are not doing this. I have done it somewhere else. I'll just show you what, how it looks next. So once that machine is there, it will run the assessment. It will run the assessment. You leave it for a week or month or two days, 30 minutes, whatever you guys have decided, uh, whatever is decided in your document. So once that is done, how will it look? I will show it to you now. Okay, this is how it looks. This is the assessment report. It will discover the server. In this case, if I had 100 servers here, it, it will discover 100 servers. This is a dummy report I have uploaded. So it, it is discovering 10 servers. But this is how it looks. That okay, discovered 10 servers. How many of them are running SQL server? None of the servers are running SQL. None of them are using web servers. What is the distribution? The report, the 
assessment where I am doing eight has a Windows machine two has Linux operating system. Is it clear guys? Are, are you getting it? Uh, so I have one question. Hmm. This one, uh, do we need to upload the file or uh, do we get this displayed directly on this? No, no, directly. You don't have to do anything. See, you have already uh, downloaded that 12 GB appliance, right? And you asked their system admin to install this appliance. The moment this appliance is running here, that is the job of this appliance to fetch every data from all machines and everything and present this report to you. Once this is done here, you don't have to do anything manually. You will directly see this report. You have to refresh it after four or five hours and you will see this report. Clear? Okay, fine. Again, then we have dependency analysis. What do we see in dependency analysis? That before moving this machine, is there any dependency that with this machine, I should move machine number X, Y, Z also that this machine alone cannot be uh, moved. That is your de dependency analysis. Then you have assess and then you have overview. Under overview, it's, it's nothing the same information what we have seen. It gives you another glance. First, let's look at that or let, let's click, click on assess. So if I click here, assess, it is creating uh, an assessment report. I will use the existing servers which I have here. And I'll show you the report. First, I'll show you the report and then I'll go back and complete those steps because I have one report ready and I do not want to uh, break the flow of learning. I'll go back and I'll show it to you how to create the report. Is it That's very easy though. But I want to show the assessment report which I have ready. So here it is. This is how it looks. This is your assessment report. You click on this. This is very simple report based on 10 servers. Hence, you won't see fancy things here. But when it is actual servers, these are dummy data because I have just created 10 dummy machines and I did the assessment on them, right? Uh, but when you do the actual one, you will have very variety, multiple options and everything. So what does it say? Out of 10 machines, which I have assessed, how many of them are ready to move to Azure? So out of them, out of 10, all are ready to move Azure. Uh, all, are, all of them are ready to move to Azure. But that is not the case when you do in real time. You will see 1,000 machines and at least uh, 10, 10 or 20 or 30 machines. So you will see those are ready with some with conditions, with condition as in some minor conditions could be there, like uh, update their uh, .NET framework. I'm just giving examples again, okay? Uh, upgrade the security, update the port, something like this. Not ready at all. Example, some has Windows 2003. Azure doesn't support Windows 2003. So that machine is not at all ready. And readiness unknown. What does it mean? Other than Microsoft Windows and Linux, let's say you have some third party, some customized operating system, which Azure is not even ready to un uh, recognize. So that will come here under readiness unknown. Is this clear, guys? This this section? Yeah. 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 Monthly. That based on the based on the report, based on the data which uh, you provided of machines, this is how much you will this is how much it will cost you. The compute, based on what they decided, see, you uploaded the data or or this appliance fetched the data. Where is that? This appliance fetched the data. Based on that they came to know that, okay, this machine has 8 GB and 2 GB RAM, or maybe uh, 8 GB RAM and two virtual CPUs, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So based on that, wh what is the best machine available in Azure? Based on that, which is the best machine available in Azure, that is what this report is recommending. That for this VM, whatever configuration you provided me, for that, this is the best suitable machine. So you go with this. These are again recommendations, guys. 
you do not have you are not bite to uh you're not a bite to deal with this or you have to use it that is not the case we are just talking about uh the recommendations so this is how it looks that based on this machine whatever information we uh, our uh, appliance were able to fetch that this machine has 4 gb ram and two cpus and 50 gb hard disk based on this you should go with this uh, flavor or this machine or this machine and how much is it going to cost you this is what it is going to cost you monthly so the total cost it is showing here the monthly cost for your 10 machines again this is not your job this because see even if you have this cost can you come to some conclusion let's say that i have given you uh, you are an implementation engineer and i you have this record okay all my 10 machines are ready to move to azure how much I'm going to pay? $7,127 monthly for those 10 machines, okay, including storage and compute. Okay, this is what I will be paying in total. This is the total amount I will be paying. Okay, I am okay with it. I'm fine. Under storage also, it has given the uh, more bifurcation that this storage of 6758, 6758, how is it charging us? But I'm okay. Now, my question is, uh, being a partner level uh, or or being uh, you know a VP or CTO of the company, I don't have time or uh, log logic or maybe a bandwidth to understand everything. Or uh, the chief financial officer or someone from finance team, they don't do not want to understand everything. Simple question to you, to an implementation engineer: Is it benefit? Is it giving any benefit to me? Monetary benefit I'm talking about. As of now, we are not talking about the technical. Let's say it's a CFO of your company. Okay. His clear question is, okay, fine. I am paying 7,127. What is it in for? What is it in for me? What do, do I have some monetary benefit? Will you be able to answer that? Yes, Hussein Shristi. Will you be able to answer yes. that? How? We can tell them about the monetary benefits uh, using uh, like how, much how? Okay, I'm I'm asking you. Can you have this information? Tell me how is it beneficial for me? Being an implementation engineer, how can you tell me that this is beneficial for me? Yes, Shristi, what's your thought process? So we, we only have to see the Azure readiness and we have to tell how it is beneficial. No, that is the, see, that is what I have been saying. Never ever take a question which applies to an Azure architect. So you can simply oh. say that wasn't a part of my job. I'll tell you something. <clears throat> if I have to tell you that, okay, from uh, Mumbai to Pune, if you have to come, there are two methods. One is by road. Another one is by uh, train. Okay. Uh, and your question is, train would cost me 100 rupees. So which is more uh, cheaper option for me? You have just given me this information. Okay. I'm not applying my understanding. I, I, I know how much it costs from uh, Mumbai to Pune. That I'm not applying. I, I will be... Uh, I'll be giving my suggestions and everything only on the based on your information. You have given me the situation that you want to come from Mumbai to Pune. There are two methods, one by road, one by train. Train cost me 100 rupees. Now you are asking me which is a, a better option for me. And only in terms of monetary, technical and everything and time and everything secondary. Is it enough information for me to answer you? No. What information is missing? Uh, the cost of the other way. Exactly. Similarly, you see here 7,127. But do you know that how much this company is spending on these machines when they are on on-prem? Do you know that? No. So you can, you can never ever answer this. Because if you say, no, no, cloud is very good, this feature, that feature, X, Y, Z, and you are only paying 7,127, the immediate rebuttal would be, uh, how how can you say only? In my current environment, I'm spending only 2005, 
2500 dollars and you are suggesting me 7000 dollars how is it beneficial so unless you have the complete information you are not going to answer anything is it clear okay yeah. and okay. any of the assessment report tool based technical report is not give going to give you any report be it as your tool or the next tool which i'm going to show you no one is going to show you the existing cost all these tools can tell you the cost which you are going to bear on azure bear with azure okay but not the the current cost the current cost will be shared by their technical team their financial team with your architecture team hence those are the people they will decide it it's up to them let them take the that blame right you cannot decide it with half information you cannot decide it so even if in your interview uh, an interviewer is asking you repeatedly that how can't you why can't you tell me how can you not say it so just keep instead of keep saying no 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 you can explain it to them that i know how it works i have closely worked with architecture team but we have not uh, we never had access to those data a company's financial report how much they spend in last financial year how much they spend with uh, uh we spare agreement what was the agreement cost what was the hyper v agreement cost uh, how much the salary was paid because everything will be calculated see when you say that this much will be cost on azure will i this, this is just comparing the compute cost but when i go to data center i am not going to calculate only uh, hardware and uh, compute cost that will be trust me that will be only 2500 but that is not the only cost i will be calculating as an architect i'll talk about okay so you have kept those servers 10 servers you must be having a rack also right that rack will cost in lakhs so i'll calculate that racks price also you must be having some system admin two or three system admin to handle that rack and handle networking so i'll calculate that also and if those are 10 servers in one room you must be renting out a room you must be paying for ac one security guard rent and everything isp sorry guys are you getting it that how do we do the calculation yeah. yeah just being an implementation engineer and you see this amount you will never ever be able to give a correct uh, recommendation and that is not your job that is not expected from you so don't ever try to go an extra mile and say in your interview that i did this or yes, yes i can do that why not i can go to calculator and tell you how, how much will it cost for 10 servers and it is uh, a better option for you no it's it's never the case Unless you know the existing information, you cannot compare it. You cannot compare it. You don't know which is well. Even in technical terms also, you don't know which is good, right? So your job is just to go with the implementation. Okay. Here you will see the cost details. Similarly, we, we have already seen this. Now, this is the report of Azure assessment tool. Is it clear? Anyone has any question on this? No. Sorry. This report is uh, there on my portal. You guys can go ahead and have a look at that. Okay. How to create this report? I'll quickly show it to you. You just have to click next. Give the assessment name. Let's say that I'm giving assessment. Ignore the spelling too. I can create groups. Okay, I have already one group or I can create a new group. It, this is this is nothing technical. Okay, just the presentation point of view. And yeah, one more thing. I scanned, <clears throat> sorry. Let's say this appliance scanned 100 servers, but I'm not planning to work on those 100 servers as of now. I'm planning to work only on 95 servers, five servers I want to keep there. So I will go ahead and select whichever servers I want to create an assessment report for. And you just create uh, next and your report will be ready. We just saw those report, uh, saw that report. Is it clear? Yeah. Also, guys, you never have to tell them how to create and everything. You just need to know the steps. You need to tell them that you the very crucial point in your interview when it comes to migration is the flow. First assessment that is not technical. We are talking about the clouds and excellence center team that is a different assessment when it comes to you you will have this information already and this is how you will do the assessment and then we'll go to migration before we go to migrate tool <clears throat> under migration also we have uh, azure migration tool and we have third-party tools here similar tools 
not exactly similar. We have one extra, maybe one less, but we have third party tools also. So before we go ahead here and see how to start migration, I'll quickly show you some reports from the uh, third party tool, which is current, this one. Okay, these are dummy reports. I, again, I'm repeating, these are dummy reports. Uh, no data is being shared here. This all are dummy servers. This was one of the freelance project I conducted based on that. We have it. So this is how a report looks like. I mean, tool has a different view. I copied that data from there. Okay, these are snapshots. Tool may be essay dikta vese. So it shows the overview of your current infrastructure. I, I scanned approximately 59 servers. So it is showing that how many of them are Windows 2016 servers? How many of them are Windows 2012 servers? How many of them are Windows 2019 servers? There wasn't a Linux server, not a single Linux server. Okay. How many of them have app application? How many of them have web servers? Is my sub virtual kit and physical kit? Can you guys see this? Yeah. Now it is talking about the strategy that out of this 59 scanned servers, how will how many are you planning to retire? How many of you are planning to retain? Kitna re-platform ho sakta hai? How many we are planning to re-host? Re-host matlab hamara migration, the plane migration which we are talking about. Okay, then repurchase wagera, this we'll discuss later. But this is how it shows. Okay, now good thing about this tool is it also shows the utilization. See, out of those 59 servers of mine, if you see 50 servers are being used, the CPU of those servers are being used 0 to 10%. For example, in these 50 servers, if I have four virtual CPUs, so maybe only one of them being used. So I'm unnecessarily paying extra. Now this report, we are talking about my on-prem servers. So the report from with this tool, which will come, that report will say while going to cloud, don't take four virtual CPUs, take only one virtual CPU. And this is how we are going to save the cost. Is it clear, guys? Yeah. Okay. This is for CPU. So we will get this report or we have to create this? Here it is. See, if you're using some third party tool, you, you will get this report. Okay. You will get as in you will have to create it. See, but you, you as in you don't have to do anything manually. Simple task I showed you. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, got it. Download that appliance. That appliance come he comes here. That appliance will fetch the report, and you will you see this report here. You come here under overview, and you will see it. That's okay. all. You don't have to do it anything manually. Okay. We have for CPU. Similarly, we have for memory. Memory also, if you see, out of fifty nine, my thirty two servers are using less than thirty percent of memory. So I can save some amount here also. And it's not all about saving cost. It's about performance also. So there are few servers, 12 servers, which are using 91 to 100% memory peak utilization, which is not at all recommended. Why not? Because these servers can fail at any time. Thoda base per pressure or bar jayega, so these servers will fail and my migration server will go down. So in this case, what will happen? What, what do you think the tool will suggest to go ahead with? Similar size or will it increase the size? Increase. increase the size right you're using 4 gb and 2 cpus tool will suggest no please go with 8 gb and 4 cpus this will enhance the performance and lower the failure risk so this is how you need to read the report also this tool will uh, tell you that how many of servers are going to end of support end of life that microsoft has uh, ended the support for windows 2012 do you really want to go ahead with this or this is the suggestion this will also be there it will show you the one more thing. It will show you that how many servers can be retired and we can have them directly as a service. In Azure, we have pass, right? Platform as a service. I can host a website on a Windows server installing a, an IIS. I can do that also. Or I can host a, a website directly on Azure. Just remove the server, host the website directly on Azure. So that recommendation also you will see here. Clear? You don't have to go th through it thoroughly. Though I'll share it with you, you can go it, but that's okay. You just have to understand the logic that what all do you get in a report? Is it clear, guys? 
Yeah. But Sohil, one thing, ah, huh? mm. uh, we don't have to share this information uh, with the uh, client, right? With, uh, no, no. Why not? See, you you will never ever hide anything from your client. By the way, you as an implementation team won't have to do that. Architecture team, once they have the yeah, report yeah. ready, they will definitely have the meetings with client, and these are long meetings. Client will not buy anything simply. They will ask you, even if it is coming from the tool, they will have some questions that why this, why not this, why not that option, why why this option, how is it going to help? Did you consider the uh, forecasting for next five years? Are you simply saying me? See, the questions, they, they will literally ask the question that you are saying, now you are asking me to downsize my 50 servers uh, from half of the size, like I'm using 2 GB RAM, you're asking me to make it 1 GB? This is how the client will ask. I'll say yes. The immediate question might come that for how much time did you scan the server? If I say for one day, the client will immediately make it as an escalation. That based on one day's assessment, you are asking me to take this much of big step that uh, uh, downsize your server. What if next day I require more resources? My server will fail. So whatever report you have, you will have to give logics behind it. You cannot be uh, simply uh, dependent on, on the tool. No, because tool is saying do it. No, you will have to analyze this report and come up with the justification. We'll have to create the PPTs and everything and video diagrams that which is better, which is not better. Why are we saying downsize? Why are we not suggesting uh, even if the tool is saying do, do the downsize, we are not saying downsize. And then there will be meetings with client weekly jate hai wo bhi meetings then we come up with a final plan client will say nahi isme se mujhko char recommendation sahi lag rahe rest uh, scrap them i will continue with whatever i have here okay the tool says uh, upgrade the machine size but no i don't want to do that because in next month i am going to uh, retire this application so i don't want to spend extra tool ko ye sari cheeze nahi pata right so manual intervention definitely hota hai wahan par and reports will definitely share with client. Clients are kuch bhi nahi it, it is client's environment. Why are why would we uh, hide something? We are charging client only for two things. One is our expertise that based on this report, I can, and based on my uh, a decade's experience, this is what I can suggest to you. Second thing, implementation, which you guys would be doing. We are charging client only for do, those two things. So we can share the report. That's okay. That's completely fine. We do share the report with client and you guys will also get the reports. If it's a pub, normally it's it's with everyone in the in organization or, or any uh, resources which are affiliated with that project. Is it clear? Yeah. So that is the reason I'm explaining this to you because when you say that you have worked, you will be expected that you report aati hogi. Then you, you should know how to read a report. You cannot say that I blindly work on implementation. Implementation may be hoto, yes, are it is a pass be ati regi. You will not be a part of that meeting, but MOMs and these reports will come to you. Okay, and this is how it will show the cost also. That this is this much you will see equivalence and best. What does it mean by equivalence? That whatever server you had on your on premises, we're giving you same. What does it mean by best? Best come at based on our tools assessment whatever tool is suggesting because we have assessed your uh, servers for a month and after that also we know that out of 100 servers 20 of them are underutilized they are only using only 10 percent of ram and cpu so we are giving you a best option to downsize them and this is how the cost will be if you go with the same size this is how much how it will cost if you go with our recommendation this is how it will be cost this much of the cost you will have to bear. Is it clear? Yeah. Yes, Sristi, do you have any questions? No. Okay, so we have only five minutes. Let me quickly go ahead and I'll show you one complete report also. Let me. Detailed report. Those were just the screenshots. Those were just the screenshots. And this is how a complete report look like. Do you see the how many pages do you see for this report? Can you see total number of pages yeah, in PDF? 676. So, so can you imagine how detailed this report can be? 
and why do you required then say it will have for individual server also that how many logical points cpu hyper threading enable hai disable hai what are we suggesting is it ready not ready everything will be in detail what are the patches this server has based on this your uh, architecture team will give you a final diagram and that diagram you guys will start implementing okay now when it comes to migration guys i'll quick four minutes are left i'll quickly start the migration practical here uh, we'll complete it tomorrow so similarly like we click on discover and everything we will click here discover we are doing it using azure migrate tool we are not doing it uh, and and guys one more thing it is not necessary to do the assessment for to do migration without assessment also you can do the migration you're sure about it that i i hardly have five machines forget the assessment these are test machines just move them i don't want to spend time and money in assessment you can do that it's not necessary that you will do the assessment so you are the only one who will do the migration you can do assessment and you can be moved to next project someone else has done assessment you can do the migration okay without assessment also you can do the migration so again you will be asked to select all details because this can be an uh, isolated uh, activity also so you're selecting okay my machines are coming from hyper v similar thing you will have to download one uh, software here you download this software this is an exe file this is how it looks and what will you do then you will uh, execute this file let me download and show it to you This is not an appliance now guys understand appliance is a different thing and this is simply a file you simply have to go here you simply have to go here and double click on this exe file and that's all it will start fetching the data but where will you do it this one has to be done on one of the servers which you're planning to migrate if i have 100 servers here in this time for migration i do not require an appliance remember guys on one of these servers kcb server ko uthalo us pe login karo and then there <coughs> you can install this sof software and it will ask for a key also okay ye nahi ho sakta hai ki koi bhi kahin se bhi wo fetch karna shuru kar de so you get a unique key this is a downloaded key see virtual credentials so while installing that while installing this one uh which software i'm install uh, download kia hai. while installing that it will ask for a key and you will have to you'll have to gi give that key you'll have to upload that key if i start installing this one here i guess it is in downloads if i start installing that software it will ask for a key one of the installations uh, one of the installation uh, step it is here it is this is how it will look a pop-up has appeared i clicked on yes and then it will take you to the next 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 we'll do the installation tomorrow again i'll show it to you okay okay uh, we have it's done for today time is over so we'll complete the migration uh, practical tomorrow if you have any questions okay. note them down we'll discuss them tomorrow okay guys okay bye. thank you thank you, thank you.